Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Daniel Harink. I am 21 years old, almost 22. I was raised on a farm in uh, northern Alberta, uh, by Nirlandia. It's a small town by Barhead, I guess. Um, I am the oldest of nine children right now. I was homeschooled all of my school years. In all honesty, when it comes to school, I'm sure there are many gaps in my education. I have, I still have lots to learn. If I could do it over again, I think I might do it over, I might do it differently, but I'm not sure what I would change, really. Um, I think I did have some, I, I do and did have some excellent opportunities and experiences to prepare me for where I am today. Though, throughout my school year, I did my academics in the morning, and this left my afternoon for, um, uh, for working and hobbies. My dad had a small workshop at home with, with a few tools, and at the age of 12, I really started getting excited about woodwork and the trades, really. The thing I enjoyed the most was making things to sell. It started with a few crude birdhouses and little shelves and books, and, or I mean, not books, boxes, I mean, and, um, you know, and then small, you know, table and chair sets for kids. Um, most of my business at that time went by word and mouth, and I, I, a couple times I tried hanging a poster or whatever with something I wanted to sell, and sometimes it worked, often it didn't, but that didn't matter. Um, I tried a consignment store one time, that worked out pretty good. Um, at a certain point, um, I generated en enough income to buy a table saw for around two grand or so. It was a good one, this one, I made sure of that. Now I could, at that time I could tackle bigger furniture. So I built my parents a wall unit and later on a kitchen at the age of, I think I was 17 or 18, I think. I, I built my first kitchen for them. From, from the time I was 18 to 20, I was, I, right out of high school or, you know, high school from homeschool or whatever, right? At, from 18 to 20, I was self-employed and did lots of furniture and a number of kitchens for other people, for new houses that were going up and the, uh, in that area, right? Um, when I turned 20, I thought it would be a lot of fun to, um, to start working for somebody else just for more experience. I felt I could learn by, um, learn from him how to go faster and how to, um, you know, run a, a business maybe more efficiently, right? So I decided to work for him. Um, losing my spot on this paper all the time here. I have been working for him ever since. And another reason actually I wanted to work for him was so that I could go to Nate a lot easier. So like I said, I've been working for him ever since and I've gone to Nate in the meantime too. I'm not finished, I don't have my papers yet, but I'm definitely working towards it. Um, but getting back to my school years, sometimes I, th I, when I look back at my years of schooling, I think, why was I so busy in the shop? Don't you think I should have maybe at that time since I was below 18 anyway, maybe worked a little harder at school and, and all that, right? But, um, I, like, I wonder if I should have taken more afternoons off work and just sat there and read a book and learned more, right? My advice to my younger brothers is you will have all your, all the, you'll be able to work your whole life long. Now is the time to do what you feel like, right? Do what you, and not necessarily what you feel like, but what you, you want to, like you want to learn, right? Um, it, it, when you're older, it'll be hard for you to have free time like that again, right? Then you'll be busy with your job, right? Um, but having said all that, I do believe my life experiences have prepared me for life. Here are some of the things I learned Running a business is about organizing time, material, and money. I learned about all the different types of equipment out there for woodwork. I learned about all the different types of wood and uh, the pros and cons of the different types, right? I learned many te techniques in sanding and finishing and assembling and, in, and what people want, you know, right? Um, the different styles of furniture and kitchens and all that. Um, I learned how to draw up designs and plan furniture. 
I learned the principles of marketing and salesmanship. I learned how to deal with people. Um, what's more, I learned the desire to work very hard and to see the bigger picture in what I was, what I was doing, right? Many of these principles can, uh, can apply to any business venture. While I understand the challenges of running my own business, I can also see the advantages and joy. While I understand the you know, challenges of running my own business, I also can see the advantages and joys of running your own venture and hope to run my own business again soon, or at least be self-employed. I don't know if there's any questions. Well, I tried to, or I, I looked into going to Nate while I was working for myself, but the thing is, it, it, you're always, it just seemed like when it, it seemed like when I would plan to go to Nate, I would be too busy. All of, like, I don't want to put work down, right? And then imagine you put all that work down, go to Nate and come back to no work, right? It just, in my opinion, it made so much more sense to um, work for somebody. And, you know, I learned a lot at Nate, but I learned a lot more from my boss. And that's why it made lots of sense to me. Right? So, I don't know, does that help you? Yes. Um, I, all I really did was phone Nate and they said, go to your, your um, apprenticeship board or whatever, right? Your, your uh, local one, yes. And um, they, I, I told them my situation that I don't really have a uh, t grade 12 diploma, I, I have the equivalency, right? And they said, okay, fine, um, come in and do an entrance exam, and I did that, and I passed it quite easily, and that was that. It was as easy as that, really. So. It was, yeah, I guess, yeah, for the most part, in science maybe, but yeah. Okay, then.